a lot of it is just about listening to transgender people and taking the lead from trans folks. The reality is that I don't represent the entirety of the trans community. There's multiple experiences and multiple relationships to one's identity. And so it's really about listening to individuals in terms of how they define themselves and describe themselves and taking people at their word. Being willing to let go of what um, preconceptions we might have about people who are different from us and taking people on their own terms. When we look at the discrimination that transgender people face, there, there tends to be intersections of race and class. The homicide rate, for example, in the LGBTQ community is highest amongst trans women. And then when we look at the trans women who are being victims of, of, of violence most is usually trans women of color. So there's something about race intersecting with um, gender issues that we have to look at if we're really interested in um, ending violence against trans women, for example, and tra trans people in general. If you want to um, improve the unemployment rate in the trans community, if you want to stop the bullying of LGBTQ youth, we also have to look at race. And, and, and I think I think the trans movement and the LGBT movement in general really it has to be a social justice movement where we look at issues of race and class and, and, and xenophobia in general.